Hi everyone, my name is Robin Saini and I'm a professional wedding photographer from last 13 years and a content creator from last one year. And that is the reason why I purchased the Digital Photo V360 SA Kit. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything, what comes in the box, how to assemble the entire kit. I'm sure you love the intro so far as I've already done the entire unboxing so I'm going to play the video on my laptop and then keep explaining which part to connect where and how to do it the right way. But before that, let's roll in the intro. It's a pretty long one but you will know everything about me and then we'll start the assembly process. So once you open the entire box, these are all the things which you get in the box. Please ensure that you arrange all these things properly on a ground so that one by one you can pick up individual item and then start assembling your kit. This is heavy duty. At the bottom of the kit, you will find this base plate, which is attached with a nut bolt to a wooden plank down. Please ensure that you remove the wood plank from this round big base plate, because between both of them is another smaller plate, which initially I was confused because I couldn't find it. And I thought the entire base plate was part of the entire wooden plank and one has to keep it that way. Once you put the base plate on the ground, on an even surface, Attach this round plate to it. Then comes the second part, the steel long heavy duty pipe which will slide down. You don't have to take it all the way down and you can just lock it. On one side of this long pole, we have to attach this kind of a rod through an allen key which is already provided in the kit. If you have an extra person, please take that person's help just to hold it in the right direction because it is heavy and this is the most important part of the kit. Please ensure that you tight all the knobs properly. The kit also comes with two aluminium pipes and the top of the rod which you just installed, you will automatically see two holes through which you can put those pipes and ensure that both the pipes have the same length coming from both the sides. The kit also comes with a ball head and an extension pipe attached to it. Just slide it through that. The center column will pass through the pipes as seen in the video here. Kit also comes with counterweight. Now based on the camera which you are using and how heavy is the camera and the lens combination, you have to put the weight on the other side. Just slide it in and tighten the screws. In case if you are using a heavy camera, so you can use both the weights. But in case you are using a lighter camera, then only one weight is sufficient. If you see here, my entire rig is slightly bending. The reason for that is I have not attached a camera yet. So probably in this case, I should have only used one weight. In the box, you also get these kind of two attachments, which will easily slide in the pipe. And they have mounting holes at the bottom. So you can attach multiple accessories to them. You slide one on the extreme right hand side on the shorter section of the pipe. Now on the other side to balance put the weight which also comes in the package. And you also get four different kind of backdrops. I don't have an unboxing of it right now but it's pretty easy to set up. Just connect the four side pipes and attach whatever kind of cloth you want. It comes with four different varieties. Black is usually preferred. Now all you have to do is a small plate. Just install it on top of the middle rod with the help of an allen key. So this is setup one as seen here. In case if you think it's not giving you the perfect motion, all you have to do is remove one of the counterweights and then try. And if you still feel that I'm getting a lot of shake, then the black flap on the other side, just remove that, 
there's a knob at the bottom. Just loosen it and you can adjust the movement front and back so that the entire kit is pretty well balanced. A pro tip, the first two, three circles are usually pretty shaky. So probably you have to pick up the clip somewhere in between with this kind of a setup. Now we're going to remove the kit and set it up in a, another way. First thing is remove the counterweights opposite side of the camera. You have to remove the ball head and all the attachments with it. You have to even remove both the pipes because now we are going to place the pipes vertically. You have to just loosen this screw and ensure that it moves this way so that the pipes can come now down as seen here. Now you can slide this attachment first and I'll tell you the reason why. And after this you can slide the attachment on which your ball head will go. And this way you can get top down shots, something like this. But why did we attach this? So that in case if we want to put any kind of light mount, we can always put in them through a magic arm. Now let's move to the setup 3 which is very very easy. All you have to do is loosen this knob which is the below part and then you can get these kind of shots. All you have to do is just gently move it from left to right. Yes, you have to hold it in your hand and do it. And in post production, wherever part is going out of the camera, you can easily crop it. So that's how easy is this device to set up. I'm pretty happy with the overall performance and if you see my Instagram, I keep posting a lot of new content which I have shot on this device. So far I am pretty happy with the V360 SE kit. My only concern is I wish I could put wheels below the major base plate. Some heavy duty wheels so I can easily make the kit more portable. Now it just plays at one corner in my office. And my second complaint is the setup 3 in which we move the kit from left to right. You have to be very very careful to get these kind of shots. And when you are taking from left to right the entire kit also moves. So probably there has to be a knob somewhere so that the middle ground thing does not revolve. It's only this handle which goes left and right. Otherwise at this price point, this is a superb kit. Especially if you are a content creator or a photographer who does lot of variety of products. I am planning to try it for a lot of jewelry shots now and I will keep you posted. If this video was for any help to you, please ensure that you comment down and let me know. And if you have any other questions, please comment down and do subscribe. Take care guys. Bye bye.